Hello you guys, how are you? I hope you're staying well. So today I'm excited because we are going to look at Emilia Clark, this beautiful English actress that played the Mother of Dragons or Khaleesi in that famous series Game of Thrones. Did you see that? It was just a fantastic series. If you haven't seen it, you need to go and watch it. Anyway, Amelia Clark is 34 years old. She's just done last month her nighttime skincare routine for the Go To Bed series at Harper's Bazaar puts on. So let's have a look and see what you think about Amelia Clark. I've got to say that she is a global ambassador for Clinique. So there'll be a couple of Clinique products in here. <laughs> Thought I'd point that out. But before we go on, my name is Joni. Welcome to my channel, Joni Loves. Please could you hit that subscribe button and that bell. That would be so cool. So let's have a look at Amelia and see what you think. Hi everyone. I am here courtesy of Harper's to say, would you like to come to bed with me? Okay, let's go. So I'm in my bathroom and for you guys, I'm gonna do this a bit early, but normally I would do it a little bit later. I have my dip tea candle. Number 34 is what I'm really obsessed with right now. So I'm just gonna light that. Very exciting. Ooh, ah. Just to make my brain and body know that it is time to go to bed. You're not gonna see this in shot, but just know that it is wafting. Know that it is wafting around the room. So first of all, isn't she just a beautiful looking woman? She is, she's gorgeous. Um, I do like her makeup as well. I think she looks great. And I do like that bathroom too. <gasps> Big fluffy robe, just feels great. Looks maybe like a hotel bathroom, the way the towels are folded. <laughs> to say. Anyway, um, that candle that T34 is 62 quid. Not cheap, but they're supposed to be amazing, those candles, and I do love a good candle myself. They say this Diptyque candle um, company, they're French, and they say they use natural perfume, as only the French can do. <laughs> so I just thought that would point that out. But I'm sure she's going to get a free one after giving them a good plug like that, don't you think? I'm going to start with my Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. It's this oily kind of texture that is just gonna make all of the makeup that I have on my skin come off. So I'm just gonna apply that. As you can see, it's really just get in there. I gotta get my eyes and all of that stuff. Oh yeah, we're looking sexy now. Excuse me for a moment while I just go and wipe this off. <laughs> The is so good because her pressure was quite light when she started doing this. This Clinique Take the Dior Cleansing Balm, I really do think it's a good product, absolutely. I'm just going to say I don't like the fact that she hasn't taken her eye makeup off or her lippy first because when you start putting this kind of thing all over your face and you know you're getting mascara all over your face, I just don't like it. It's like putting makeup and squishing it all around and there's no need for that. I would much prefer if she took off her eye makeup and lipstick first really well, even if it was a separate cleanser, I would prefer that quite frankly. And then using this cleansing balm to do her face and neck. Mm, right, I know she's maybe not thinking about her eye area yet, but you want to look after this. And the younger you start, hear me out, the better it is for you in the long run. Um, but to smooth cleanser all over this area and get mascara all over the skin not good for it no 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 it's it's quite sensitizing that i don't like it so this is a good cleansing balm um it's got safflower seed oil in it it's emollients antioxidants um it's got capri triglyceride which is another good emollient derived from coconut oil and it's got vitamin e in it so i do think this is a good effective cleanser that removes oil, dirt oil, makeup. I think it's probably best, though I still think, I, I am not, I know everybody likes these um, oil take off, you know, dissolve and take off the makeup. I'm not keen on them personally because I think they're great for dry skin, sensitive skin, but not skin like mine. It's a combination that can be prone to a breakout now and again. So I would not be saying this is good for normal oily combination skins. Just thought I'd point that out. If you've tried it, let me know though. If you have got that combination skin that I've got, do you think it's any good? I just don't want to chance anything clogging my skin. 
Right? So I'm just wiping it all away. Right, I'm I'm continuing to wipe. Continue to wipe, but my, my hair's in the way, so I have to do this again. It's too much, it's getting too much, it's getting too intense up in here. Okay, that's better. So this is it coming off. And I'm feeling very calm because I have my beautiful candle going, which is just delicious. Excuse for sirens. We are in London after all. So that's step one. One and done. And now I'm gonna use my All About Clean Clinique Cleansing Milk. Beautiful, gorgeous. Now this also technically is a makeup remover. And when I've been wearing as much makeup as I had on just then, um, you just wanna make sure that you've got it all off because it's very important to keep your face really nice and clean. So, down I go. Taking it all off. Ah, <sighs> it just feels so good taking off your makeup. Do you know what I mean? Well, I have to say, I think she's really good at looking, you know, being gentle with her hand. And that is key when you're applying anything to your skin. It's light pressure, okay, not heavy pressure. What did I think about, again, she went over her eye area with this. No, I'm not keen on that. I, and her eyes, if you look at this video of her, her eyes have went quite pink at the sides. They have. So imagine doing this every day, this double cleansing going over your eyes like that. That is not good. Not good for the eye area, this delicate skin round here. Very, very fine skin. You want to really look after that. This cleansing milk, you know, is, is good again. It's got great um, hydrating products. It's got glycerin, which you know I love. Vitamin E, great. It's got algae extract, antioxidants. It's got quite a few things. So it's got skin soothing and hydrating ingredients in this cleansing milk. So I, I quite like this. Um, she said it's a makeup remover as well. And I still don't think it's taken off every single bit of her makeup. Um, I don't, I'm not sure why, but she used a face cloth, which you know, I do love a face flannel. And I do think that's, yeah, I'm happy with her using that. But I do think that, you know, you've really got to make sure you're gentle when you're using a face flannel. Really, really be gentle. What can I say? I do think it's quite a nice cleansing milk. Um, Clinique's philosophy, I do like, okay, no parabens. You know, I'm, I'm keen on that. No phthalates, no fragrance, just happy skin. However, not cruelty free, I've put here. <laughs> so there is a good few things about Clinique and it's a well-known brand. It's It's been out for donkey's years. Goodness, I used it myself in the day. I did, I did. So I'm just wondering if she's been told to do this. What what I do like is a double cleanse, right? She's got that bit right, done a double cleanse. And that is really key because at night time, you want to make sure your all the makeup is completely off the skin. So when you apply any of your serums and everything, it's going to really absorb deep in and do a job. So 100%. One of the things I've heard about this cleansing milk, I have to say that it leaves a type of film on the skin and... You know, I've talked about this in previous videos. If you use a product and you feel after you've used it, there's a sort of film left on your skin. That is okay if you've got dry skin. If you've got any issues with clogging pores or breakouts, you can't use products like that because you will have a breakout. But when you've got a dry skin, you'll get away with something. It's really all about the skin barrier. And I think... Um, this these two products are really great for the skin barrier, I have to say. Taking off your makeup, do you know what I mean? When you've had lots on, and boom, there it goes. And then what I do, I just like to give my skin a little pat down. A little pat down dry, because it's still a bit soppy and a bit wet. Hot, hot. You guys are so lucky to get to see this. But now my skin is clean and it is dry. We're just gonna have a look quickly about using a tissue there. I'm not keen on tissues, but she's only using it to take off whatever water's left on her skin. And it's, it is okay to leave your skin damp. There is the belief 100% that if you leave your skin damp, what you're gonna use on it will really absorb into skin much better. So that's the thing here, but let's see what she's using next. 
And so, what we do next is Clinique Clarifying Lotion, my favorite product. And this is 1.0 for me because I got that sensitive skin. So we don't want to do anything any stronger than that. So, sorry, what I've done is I've just put it on this guy and I'm just going to make sure that it's all off. I'm really quite rigorous about having very, very, very clean skin. But what you'll see now is you just see me do two cleansers, right? And guess what happened? Boom. I still got makeup on my skin. Oh my God. Nearly had a heart attack there. <gasps> Clinique Clarifying Lotion 1. She says she's got sensitive skin. Well, you can see that her nose is quite pink and her eyes have went quite pink, but I think that's a bit self-inflicted, I have to say. And then Amelia is using this Clarifying Lotion 1 and I've looked at the ingredients and certainly, no, I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy. Alcohol denatured is number one ingredient. Drying. Glycerine's number two. Is that going to compensate? Then let's go on. Butylene glycol is hydrating, but then it's got witch hazel in it. And then it's also got salicylic acid. It's got sodium hyaluronic after that, hyaluronic acid after that, but... Oh, I'm not, I'm not keen on this formula at all. I am not keen on it. And what really aggravated me was she went and put it over her eyes. You wouldn't do that. You don't want to dry out the eye area at all. And that's going back to what I said. Try to get your eye makeup off first. And if you've got a pigmented lipstick, do that first before you start cleansing your skin. Please, please do that. Please get into that habit. This is not good. I don't like it. You know, I'm going to tell you something about this is an old fashioned way of cleansing the skin. And she's probably been, well, I'm assuming that she's been told to use these steps like this. I'm not keen on toners. She's just showed you there she's used this toner because there's makeup left on her skin. If you've done a double cleanse really well, all the makeup should definitely be off your skin. Just saying. So she hasn't probably taken the time and I'm always saying you need to think about this when you're doing it yourself please take the time at night if you have to get home from work or when the kids have gone to bed whatever your plan is even do it earlier so you're not too tired when you start to give yourself your me time but you have to take your time cleansing really gently massaging in your cleansers into your skin take them off gently please do this and take i don't think she's taken enough time and maybe it's because it's been a quick film for harper's bazaar who knows but no i think if she'd taken her time more with both of those cleansers before that all that makeup most of it would have been off but it, it doesn't smack of using the toner after it that that previous cleanser did leave a bit of a film on her skin because she's she's got some makeup on that pad you want to try to get a makeup remover do that first, then use a really good appropriate cleanser for your skin and cleanse and take time doing that. I'm not keen on this clarifying lotion one. I don't think you need toners. It's an old fashioned idea. I've mentioned this before. We used to believe, and this is an old fashioned idea that Clinique are still hanging on to because they're, they're doing their step, their three step or however many step system they're doing. But using a toner, we did used to use one years ago when the cleansers were so thick um, and it was hard to get the cleansers off. So we used a toner and it would take what residue the, the cleanser was left on your skin. That's why we did it then, but not now. No, if you use a really good cleanser and do it a couple of times, you should not need a toner at all. Mm -mm, no, no, no. I think it's a waste of money, a toner. I do. So clarifying lotion too, too strong for her sensitive skin because it's got alcohol denatured in it and witch hazel too astringent if she's got a sensitive skin. So be aware of those things when you've got a sensitive skin. We're ready to moisturize, baby. Smart clinical repair. Wrinkle serum. Wrinkle correcting serum. I'm sorry, it's not serum to give you wrinkles. It's serum to do the opposite. So I'm just gonna do a couple of pumps of this guy. And then I'm just gonna gently apply it on my skin. I mean, it's the, it's this guy really, isn't it? Largely speaking. And you must apply gently. 
Oh, I do like how she's applying that gently. When I'm looking at her skin, I do definitely think that Amelia's causing some of the sensitivity issues herself. Blowing your nose too hard, you know, breaks the capillaries around this area, causes this, the nose to really look full of broken capillaries and pink. Always be careful when you're blowing your nose to do it gently. Everything you do to your face should be gentle. Please, 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 please. And she was gentle at putting this, this moisturiser on or this serum. Now, I'm going to say... Um, Clinique Smart Clinical Repair Wrinkle Correcting Serum. I do like this product. Yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. Now, it's got dimethicone, which is a great thing for holding in your own moisture in your skin. It's got dimethicone is the first ingredient. Then it's got butylene glycol, another hydrating. Then it's got glycerin, do, 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 star ingredient. It's got azorbyl glucoside, you know, a bit of um, vitamin C, great and sodium hyaluronic, you know, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, squalene, algae extract. Oh, it's got antioxidants galore. It's got hydration in here. Sunflower seed extract, great for hydration, antioxidant. You know, all of this and, and I'm getting excited. It's got acetyl hexapeptide 8, one of Johnny's favourite favorite peptides that really relaxes the facial muscles and it's got palmitol tripeptide 1 and palmitol tri tetrapeptide 7 and palmitol hexapeptide 12. This is all skin restoring, helping collagen. I'm loving it. I am loving it. And then it's got granactive um, retinoid that's hydroxypinacolone, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, retinoid, which is great. It's a granactive retinoid, which is a vitamin A in this serum wow this is a good serum this will be hydrating this will be skin restoring oh it's really saved everything here for me i do like this very much and i like how she put it on i do i like all of that this is great this product for a number of things great for anti-aging great because of the vitamin c i do think that amelia i know she thinks she's got sensitive skin okay but I do see a bit of pigmentation issues here. I, I'm just saying that there's a bit of pigmentation, I think, going on. I'm not sure whether it's because of the light thing in that bathroom, but I think she's prone to pigmentation. Let me know if I'm right, Amelia, please. So much nicer than what I would do at home. What I would do at home would be a very different, a very different story indeed. And then, my friends, we apply my favorite, my baby, the queen of the pops. And this guy is just delicious to put on because it is jelly. Ooh, um, it's, this is quite fun to put on. And genuinely, you don't need that much. You, even that's quite a lot. So as you can see, I keep applying, you can't see, because keep doing it out of shot, idiot. Um, I, apply, I apply creams and serums to my hand first, and then we dot it, we dot it, we dot it. We dot it and then we rub it in. Ah, oh, delicious. Mmm, yummy. Oh, I did like this. Now, this is Clinique Moisture Surge Auto Replenishing, Auto Replenishing Hydrator. 56 bucks for 75 ml. Now, I am going to say that I have looked at this serum and checked it out for a client of mine and I like this serum a lot and I'm giving this a thumbs up. <gasps> good, good, good. So this has got, again, dimethicone, which is a great ingredient to hold in your own moisture for body repair, so good. Butylene glycol, which is also hydrating, that's number two ingredient. Glycerine, again, star ingredient, and then it's got hydrating silicone in it. It's really good. And I'm looking, hydrating, hydrating, I've put next to all of this. Wonderful and urea or hydroxethyl urea, which is also hydration, and then it's got green tea extract, antioxidant. Wow, and what else is this? It's another antioxidant, lady thistle extract, antioxidant, fantastic. And then it's oh my goodness, <laughs> it's got palmitol hexapeptide 12, which is skin restoring peptide, and sodium hyaluronate, and vitamin E. Wow, I really like this one, I do like this one. This is a moisturiser that I am impressed with. I do like it. It's got lots of hydration, antioxidant peptides. This moisturiser has it all. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding. So that's pretty good. 
Again, I quite like the way she put it on. And I like the way, I keep saying this, she came down to her decollete and put it down here. Well done, Amelia. Well done. Good, good, good. I'm excited now. This is good now. I love you guys, but I'm not taking my clothes off for you. So, what I would do if I was in the bath is I would run my bath with my yummy dip tea candle and um, I would then apply in that bath Susan Kaufman's St. John's Wort bath salts. And it smells really good, really. Oh God, it's so yummy. And I would put that in my bath that I would have scalding hot and I would just sit there and soak for ages. And then mm. on coming out of the bath, <laughs> stop I me, Amelia. Would then apply... You're doing so well. <laughs> so that's sounding okay about the Susan Kaufman St. John's Wort calming and de-stressing. Yeah, I like a bath salt myself, Himalayan pink bath salts. Yes, I love that. Um, and, a, you know, looks a great, nice um, bath salt, 67 bucks for these. So I can, I get it while she's used that. But she's using scalding hot water. Mm, no, 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 no. Don't do that. That is so drying for your skin. I can't tell you. Remember, I've given you this little story before about imagine you had a bit of butter on your skin, right? We put a knob of butter on your skin. We go under the hot tap and we run it. What's going to happen? The butter is just going to slide off the skin, isn't it? Well, that's the same effect you're having on your body skin when you go into a scalding hot bath. All your natural oils are just seeping out of your skin. Picture that, get that into your head because scalding hot is not good. Not good for your gorgeous skin. It's not. No, very, very drying. No, 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 I don't like that. The only way to compensate if you like such a hot bath and it's not still compensating but it'll help is apply which i do like to do is put on baby oil all over massage all over your skin first right onto dry skin and then go into your bath okay that's going to have a, a coat of protection on but try not to do hold a scot holding scalp i can't hardly say that scalding hot baths no 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 don't do that don't do that and then on coming out of the bath I would then apply, this is magic for me right here, the Magnesium CBD Cream with melatonin. Like literally, how many more ways could you try and get to sleep? This guy, this guy is the, is the champion. So I will apply that all over my body. Aussie Magnesium Body Lotion plus melatonin, 29 bucks plus CBD oil, it's in it. Yeah, I get it, I really get it, the magnesium is great. I do like putting magnesium if I've got any muscle cramps from over exercising. I do massage magnesium oil into my legs. I do. I've got very, you know, very um, muscly calves I have from probably all the exercise. Anyway, the magnesium oil is a big thing, isn't it? But this sounds really nice. It does sound a nice um, body lotion with the melatonin, which does, melatonin does help you get a nice sleep so I think it all sounds pretty good I've looked at ingredients I could only find three reviews on this Aussie magnesium body lotion plus melatonin um I, so I don't know has anyone tried it out there if you have let me know and was it good um I think it would be worth a try I do I would roll it out because I get really 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 tight like my muscles get really tight ah. this guy is amazing you can this is my travel one I'm traveling right now um and it goes flat like that and you can just pack it and then magic eh what's it called brazen performance life um so i would roll on that but again you're not going to see it in shots so this guy well i think we will finish there i think that's a great thing to finish up the foam roller have you got a foam roller i have i swear by the foam roller and I quite often do do it myself and um, before I go to bed because of all my exercises that I do but this brazen more formula that's pretty cool this one because it flattens out I don't have that one it's 70 bucks for it but foam rollers are great you know for stiff muscles they really are really really good Um, I've got a piriformis thing that goes on all the time probably because of my running and whatever but um, I definitely think 
foam rollers are amazing but I do think I might buy this one myself for when I travel it's really cool so what did I think about Amelia Clark's skincare routine or nighttime skincare routine what was missing from for, for me what was really missing for me I think that she needs definitely to get a better um, eye makeup remover going on <laughs> have to say that I do think that's important I did love the um, the wrinkle correcting serum I thought that was really good and I do like that moisture surge moisturizer really really good too so that saved it for me I think that I have to say to her you know start to use a little bit of eye cream get into the habit just now you only need a split pea size of eye cream to get into that habit but especially because um, the way you're taking your makeup off you know you're causing this irritation here so try if you get into the habit of a little bit of eye cream maybe that would make you focus more on looking after this delicate skin round here and believe me <laughs> you want to do that when you're younger the younger you start the better okay and um, a wee bit stronger I think of a retinal product I would have put in definitely I know that that um, wrinkle correcting serum has got some retinol in it but it was quite far down although I do think it's like quite a, interesting so one of the new retinols Granactive retinoid that's out um it did have did have that in it I would have maybe used a stronger one especially as I think she's a little bit prone to that pigmentation a, li a wee bit more um maybe a, a stronger vitamin c would have put a vitamin c serum maybe Maybe she's doing that during the daytime, but I would certainly use a stronger retinol every other night on her skin. I would, I would. But what did you think, more at the point? Did you think any of those products were good? Have you tried any of those products? I would like to hear your opinion because this is what this channel is all about. I want you to tell me what you think. I've given you an idea of the formulations and I am all about the formulations. I know that <laughs> I probably bored you before about all the formulations, but looking at the first top 10 ingredients on a label really gives me a clue to what the product's doing. But have you used any of those, okay? And were they good or were they rubbish? Let me know. Or if you've got another product, do you think that Emilia or Emilia <laughs> would like um, let's find out what you think. Is there something that you think, is there a good face and eye makeup remover that you think she should have tried? Let me know in the comments. And listen, I love when you put comments. Please know that. I, I really do. It really makes me happy to see people putting in stuff and giving their opinion because that's what it's all about. The more information we can share, the more it is helping each other. Okay, for sure. So I hope you enjoyed that one today. I certainly think she's a beautiful looking girl. She really is. Just get her eyes looked after um, and that would keep me happy. Protect your eyes. Okay, so take care of yourselves. Have a great week and see you soon. Bye.